All right, so we have here part two of the project. Um, part two is finding something in nature, some fruit, some vegetable. Here you could see I found a pine cone. I found this pine cone uh, outside my house uh, in the backyard. Um, and what we're gonna do here is we're going to find the Fibonacci spiral. So our goal is to find this Fibonacci spiral in the shapes. Again, we're looking for that spiral. And if you look closely here, you can see that they're spiraling around. So what I wanna do with this is, I got a couple different options here. You can see I have a couple of permanent markers. I also have some paint. What I want you doing in this project is taking your pine cone, your pineapple, I don't know, some sort of fruit, some sort of vegetable, an artichoke, uh, leaves, anything that has some sort of spiral. And I want you actually doing a little arts and crafts here. If for some reason you cannot actually make and your parents won't let you draw on anything, what you can do is you can take a picture of it. So what you could do is you can actually just take your phone, take a picture of the object, like so. So what I have is a picture of my pine cone. And what I could do is I can edit this in some way, if you do not. Um, and I want you to, if for some reason you can't, you could use this to kind of highlight the spirals around. It's gonna be a lot more difficult doing something like this because it's gonna be very difficult for you to uh, actually go through this whole idea and actually count the spirals. Um, it might be more advantageous to make a video of you doing this and trying to count around. But one thing we can do here is something a little bit easier is I can take my marker. I'm gonna use the red marker. And what I could do is, you can see I started, is I can color one of the spirals. Just keep following it around. You can see as I'm following around, it goes up in this pattern. So there's one, and let's have fun, let's alternate it. A red one, and then I could do a black one. So you can kind of see red and black, doing some bulls colors here, red, black. Keep going back and forth. And obviously you would do this all the way up. I'm just gonna do it down here and I'm just making lines. I actually want you to make this a lot nicer than what I'm doing. I'm doing this just to show you in the example here of what it would look like, but make it look really nice. And like I said, I just grabbed a couple of permanent markers and I made it all the way around. So if you look, I made it all the way around. So if I count, I'm gonna remember this one because it has a little, I don't know, I don't know what that is. Something's on that pine cone. But I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And back there, I have a total of eight spirals. Eight from the first video is one of the Fibonacci numbers. So I actually found my eight spirals. So what I have here is going in this direction, I have eight. Now, if you want, feel free to go in the opposite direction with maybe something else. Uh, maybe what you can do is use some paint. So what I have here is I have some paint. And what I could do is I could color this in with paint. Red. That comes up way better. I got lucky that I was able to get a hold of fun paint like this. Two. Man, should have had you guys doing this before Halloween. But you go all the way up. Again, I'm just going to do just a little bit of it. Keep spinning it. This comes up way better. And what we're doing is we're just going around in circles following the Fibonacci sequence. Looking for those patterns. Again, I want you going all the way up. 
I'm just not going all the way up uh, for the video because of time. But what I have here, and the black's a little bit difficult to see. Let's see if that zooms. But what you could see is I went all the way around. Go all the way up. Have it be fun. And what I want you doing with this is after you're done with this, I want you talking about it. I want you to make a short video. Uh, there will be uh, a link available for you to know how to take a video with your Chromebook. You could do this with your phone. Upload it to Google Classroom. I want you to talk about the spirals. Here I have spirals going around. Uh, and these spirals, the way that I did mine, I have a total of eight. If for some reason you have extra paint, maybe you want to do red in one direction and then do black in another direction because there are spirals. I don't have any other color uh, permanent markers, but the spirals also go this way as well. So maybe you could have some fun and do that. For extra credit, you if you find two things, so you have to do one for your project, but if you find a second one and make a second video, you'll receive extra credit for that. So that is what I want you doing for part two, except please color it all the way around. Again, if you cannot have, if you cannot find paint, if you cannot find a marker, um, you could use tape. Um, I do have, you know, just painter's tape. You could use duct tape, maybe. You could use masking tape, but maybe rip up some. I don't know, this is still kind of wet, but you could rip this up into strips. And with those strips is you could highlight over where they're at. But again, you're trying to find the Fibonacci number. And if you don't find it, it's fine. But uh, please label it whatever the shape is you're doing and then the Fibonacci numbers that you find. 